all of you hope it has a great so very soon we are launching a complete course and that we're going to focus that how you can hack a smart contract so i already gave you a complete overview that what are the things we're going to cover in the hacking course of the smart contract in the last video so i hope you guys have watched that if you haven't watched i'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that the only motive i have for making this video to let you know that what we're going to start with because we have already discussed that we're going to cover a lot of topics into this smart contract hacking course We'll have tools, we have software, we have hacking platform, we have hacking contracts. So we're going to cover tons of things. But we have to know that what we have to start with first. Because if you start with the right approach, if you know that what you have to learn when it's come to hacking the contract, and that way you will maximize your learning. So we're going to start with first Ethernet, which is provided by OpenZeppelin. Ethernet is so powerful that it will give you a very good understanding that how you have to interact your interact with smart contract how you can manipulate the data in the smart contract how you can change the ownership of the contract how you can build logic in the smart contract so you can hack that so first we're going to start with ethernet we're going to deep dive in details we're going to find out that what are the ways to manipulate the data in the smart contract what are the options do we have and tons of things coming in this complete course so we're going to have close to like 25 lectures in this Ethernets alone because there is a vast topic we have to talk about fallbacks we have to talk about reentrancy we have to talk about the ownership of the contract we have to talk about the repetency there's tons of things are there so we're going to talk about each and everything in detail so, so that's why i have taken ethernet to be the first topic to cover in the smart contract hacking because in that we're going to cover almost a lot of new things a lot of new things we will discover in that and that will give a very good insight that will give us a very good idea in logic building when it's come to hacking the smart contract and when it's come to auditing the smart contract so i hope you guys will are so i hope that you guys are excited about this complete course and if you guys are then do let me know in the comment section that yes i'm excited and i want to become a smart contract hack totally dedicated to the smart contract hacking so i believe that once you follow this entire course you will learn a lot of new things about the web3 development smart contract ev change how the data works exactly how you can manipulate the data on the chain and how you can protect when it's come to auditing the smart contract so if you want to become a good auditor if you want to become a good smart contract developer then these are the things which you have to know it's very important and it's, that's what you get paid for when you will write the contract in the real world okay so that's the quick note i want to give you all and if you still have any question in doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer each one of your queries and i'll try to cover in details and i already made a video that how you can fix what other alternative you have when it's come to uploading the nft to the ipfs so make sure to check that in the i button in the description because because many of you have complained me that infura is restricted for the global use so earlier in the nft marketplace what we did we used the global endpoint for the ipfs provided by the infura and we simply deploy the nft and the metadata but right now if you want to use infura you have to put your valid credit card details then only you can upload the nft the metadata to the ipfs so i already made a video that what alternative you have as a developer which you have to know because definitely later or sooner you're going to utilize it in your project for the testing purpose okay so in that scenario i made a tutorial on that which is on pinata so i'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have found this video valuable and if you still have any confusion in doubt do let me know in the comment section and do let me know that you guys are excited that we're going to complete this project and you guys will learn a lot of things by that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.